Hello and welcome back. In this demo, we are going to add a boost watch theme to our NBC demo application. First place, let's head over to the Google and uh, find out the find out about boost watch theme. So let's say type boost watch and go to their website. So this is the boostwatch.com and it provides a number of uh, themes uh, which are free to use based on and all of them are based on the bootstrap so in our project we are using the uh, bootstrap 3.3.7 version which we can confirm from by going to www directory library bootstrap and if we click on json bow.json then the version of bootstrap that we are using is 3.3.7 so we are going to use the 3.3.7 version of the bourgeois theme so let's click on 3.3.7 version and these are the numbers of themes that are available and we are going to use include uh, those themes in our mbc demo project so let's head over to our our project and open the terminal integrated terminal and let's install the bourgeois into our project to do that i'm going to use node package manager npm install bootswatch and at the rate version number 3.3.7 and we want to save this as a project dependency so this has successfully installed bootswatch uh, uh, into our project uh, and we can confirm this by head, uh, heading over to the package.json file and if we see here then we got the bootswatch dependency with the version 3.3.7 successfully added so once we do that uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to copy the bootswatch file from the node modules directory into the node modules directory which is inside www root folder because the ASP.NET core serves files only from uh, dub root directory so to do that we have already developed the gulp task uh, which does uh, our copying task from node modules to uh, dub root directory so let's head over to the gulp folder cnjs and see the name of the task so the copy npm task copies file from node modules to www root directory so let's run this uh, let's run the copy npm task so let's type gulp and name of the task copy npm and this has successfully copied the um, bootswatch theme from node modules into www root directory folder so let's go over to www root directory inside node modules and let's refresh this first and let's check so here we got uh, bootswatch copied from node modules inside the directory node modules which is inside www root directory so that the asp.net core can directly sort this file to the browser the next step is once we include uh, or download any client side package we need to include that into our layout.cshtml file and again we can do that uh, uh, by using the gulp task but the gulp task require us to provide the path of the files that we want to include uh, uh, inject inside our layout.cshtml file so this is the bourgeois theme so i'm just gonna that depends on the bootstrap so i'm just gonna include that just after the um, bootstrap file location so it is inside the node modules directory of the dubdub root directory dot slash node modules and uh, it's in bootswatch bot oops sorry TSWTCS bootswatch. Let's use the cerulean theme for now. C R U L E N cerulean, and inside the cerulean, there is a file called bootstrap.css. Bootstrap.css. So once we do this, now we can run the our gulp task to inject this file inside the layout.css DML file. So let's run our task gulp inject. 
and golf inject has successfully injected our file into our layout.cshtml file let's head over to the layout.cshtml file and confirm uh, confirm that it has been successfully injected there so let's head over to the views shared layout.cshtml file and uh, here we can see that our golf task has successfully injected the files inside our layout.cshtml so at this point of time if we refresh our project then we should see our new cerulean theme in action so by the way the preview of the cerulean theme is uh, like this and let's head over to our project and let's refresh this and our project application should look exactly same like this let's refresh and uh, here is our new theme in action so at this at some point of time if you want to change uh, your theme to any other let's say you want to use the united themes then simply what you can do is just change the name from cerulean to united united and this is going to point to the united file united css file from here not modules cerulean united so once when we change the location to the not modules bootstrap united bootstrap.css it is going to point to this file and inject this file into our layout.css dml so that we can use this theme let's save this and uh, we need to run our inject task inject let's head over to the browser and refresh so here is our new united theme in action so this is the end of this demo and uh, thanks for watching have a good day